hello there YouTube and welcome to Wednesday the 17th of January yes we're at home they uh they closed the store today you had so much ice down uh down south that uh yeah it wasn't safe and you looked at the the drive to where it just wrecks and it's just a total nightmare down there well up here it is so slippery that we couldn't even get off get off the porch it's just a solid sheet of ice now that was this morning when we were preparing to leave so Kelly started texting back and forth and but it's now about two o'clock maybe a little bit after and it's <laughs> Danny running behind me um it's been 35 degrees for at least an hour or so now and um and you if you pay attention you can hear the sound yes that's a gutter running that's a sound we haven't heard in well over three days or more how long has it been below freezing we ain't seen a day over freezing since i don't even remember when but uh yeah things are moving things are starting to melt but the ice, I just had to scrape the ice, and now the ice is, uh, it's not like glass. I can actually scrape the ice off the steps to get on and off the porch. But, um, you know, where I'd scrape some of the snow off, I did it so I could blow the RC cars off on the sidewalk going into the shop. Um, it's still a solid sheet of ice, but if you kick it, you can, you can make it, you can disturb it. Where this morning... Yeah, and neither one of us, nobody, even the dogs had a hard time getting off the porch. <laughs> Poor Mass. She, she's about bit it going off of there. Poor old dog. <laughs> but yeah, you can see, the only difference you can see is it's starting to pull a little bit of water out there. It's not making much of a difference. But the nice thing is the rain has started here last couple hours it's super super light but that rain will will help warm it up and i don't think it's going to go below freezing tonight so that'll be another another bonus but uh anyway i'm not stepping out in the rain because i'm starting off with my dji um pocket three gimbal recorder and uh it's a uh, it's not water i know people get out in the water and get them wet I've already got my yeah, my uh, camera gimbal, and it's not water resistant either. And I've gotten that thing soaked a few times. It got buried, covered in snow. And by the time I got it, you know, got inside and brushed it off, the uh, the the snow turned turned wet and was melting in everything. So I think uh, you know, respect the warning that it's not waterproof i think it's it's a uh, splash resistant basically is what it is but um this little thing was not cheap so i'm not risking anything neither was my camera gimbal but you know how it is you get a little more relaxed when you've had them for a while but um anyway the gimbals gimbals are magical when you're recording stuff but uh there's more about dji stuff i'll talk to you about that a little bit later but I was just coming out here to scope things out because uh, Kelly says we need to go to the store. And uh, I was just listening to what traffic is going up and down the road. It sounds like it's going somewhat normal speed. Nobody's speeding, I can tell you that. You can tell when they're speeding. But everybody's being cautious. And uh, we need to get gas in the morning. So we figured we'd just take the drive out the GCs and go ahead and get gas today. Just in case it's a little slippery, we can just concentrate on driving to work and not worry about getting gas and stuff. So I swear I'm picking up a little bit of a blue hint in the sky there. But it's nice to hear the gutters running once again. That's a sign of uh, this freezing, frozen... Boy, that, that freezing rain last night, that was flat something else. There were sections of freeway shut down, and man, I'm glad I wasn't traveling anywhere last night. Why? You get enough warnings. Anybody with a modern phone, your phone should be blowing up, warning you. Don't be out in this stuff. People, they're gonna, they're gonna risk it. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, someone 
took the ultimate risk the local from yesterday that was a uh, and last night that was not good so yeah when they warn you with that stuff stay home you know when you you know the old tape measure rule you you figure the average life of a human being and then uh, you you roll that tape out that far and then you pinch it at what age you are and let let the rest of it dangle down to the average age yeah it's a whole lot shorter what you got left than what you've been through so uh as you get older um you don't take those kind of risks anymore i want to hang out for a while when you're young you don't think anything can happen to you and uh that's where you'll get into some serious serious trouble anyway looks like it's just raining out here looks like uh as long as we can get out of the driveway which i don't have don't have any fear of that the uh it's going down the highway i'm worried about but i hear him hear him moving so uh, we'll probably take off and go to go to the gas station in the store here a little bit so hang tight here we go <laughs> the neighbors come up and down this road so often that uh you'd swear it was a major highway and it's one neighbor in particular the other ones are like us they leave if at all once a day well they travel it twice once leaving one coming back got one neighbor that literally i was out playing with the rc cars that one day and four times within about 15 minutes they left and come back there's nowhere you can go that you could turn around and be back that quick yeah it's like what it's like are you, you coming down here checking the mail what are you doing i don't know Party, party. Well, the roads are fine. Everything else is all nice and white. But that rain will uh, yeah, it'll dissipate all the snow here really, really quick. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of rain. That should uh, do away with it fairly, fairly soon. Boy, you can tell a county highway from a state highway. Oh, yeah. Where the salt is just clear. Where they gravel, oh, looking at somebody went out and did donuts out there in New York. There's still snow and lots of gravel. I'd rather be like that's what I'd rather have. I don't just the salt just does so much damage to everything. Heck yeah, still looks wintry down here. That's a lot of gravel. Wow. Yeah. There's the e-calls all, all gathered up around the round bale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See old Dr. Pierce's barn out here in the snow. Oh yeah. Looking pretty. There's that fog layer I was talking about. That's cool looking. It almost look at that. It is. Sun's actually trying to pop out out there. How about that? Still got that mist to it, like it's uh, almost like freezing rain does, you know. Um, I need more gas than that. Hold on. I knew I should have connected to the car out in the shop with my phone. Because I was thinking, did we? when's the last time we got gas? I'm going, no, I'm pretty sure we had to get gas Monday. Well, we haven't been to work since last Friday. Yeah, we didn't need gas. That's why it stopped early. But uh, I guess I'm ahead of the game now. All right, let's go and hit the grocery store. Mama's got some needs. <laughs> Look, there's even a rainbow out there. That gun kicked up a rock and a rotor back there. Let's see if you, I don't know. If, I can't turn to see if the rainbow's there. If it's there, hopefully you see it. It's, it's pretty faint. The worst thing ever in bad weather is hills. Going up, not so scary. Going down, it's so once you lose control. And that, it's bad. Oh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. There's plenty of slush still on the ground. The car is seeing 38 degrees. That ought to make some stuff melt real quick now. Wouldn't 
want to be on your motorcycle today. Although I've gone many, many, many miles and way worse than this on motorcycles. I used to drive from Longview to Portland every day until my little wifey found us an apartment and moved us in. Still one of the most memorable things ever. <laughs> that poor Texaco station, nobody goes to it. They want as much, 10 cents more for regular than uh, GC's wants for super. Then if you use your card, it's it's another 10 cents a gallon on top of that. Look at that, sunshine mama. What is that? Although, I did peek out a couple of times yesterday. Yeah, I was just thinking, this hill might not be good. I see the road closed. Yeah. we got to divert back to the highway. Yeah, yeah there's, too steep. there's still, the still way down. too much slush on the ground. Look at this. Even I'm in normal mode. Watch. It took, what, three seconds before it took gave it gas. It, it already knows. Kelly and I were discussing, how does it know? How does it know it has no traction? You think it'd have to goose it first to realize there's no traction. Then, you know, I don't know. There comes smart cars. They are smart. Retta, there's always people there getting some food items. We'll roll in from the top side today, Mama. Yeah. I think they filled, yeah, they filled it back in again. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, I think broke it up again. It's like it doesn't stay. All right. Find us a place to, yeah. We'll get us facing out. We'll follow the van here. Well, I'll do it this way so somebody doesn't park right behind you. And you can, last time we heard, yeah. somebody just literally crammed behind us. So she had to put everything in the side door. Yeah, couldn't open it. It would have hit their car. Yeah. All right. Well, hello, my lovelies. <laughs> so I told you guys I was going to talk about um, uh, DGI stuff here for a moment. All right. So this is the the Pocket Three that I was recording on earlier today. It's a built-in gimbal fantastic camera this is a little carry case that holds everything this is a actually it's kind of a nice little safety case the whole gimbal pops into that and locks everything down so you can just throw it in your pocket you don't have to be so overly careful with it and this is a little carry bag with all the accessories you remember that thing comes with this new microphone they call it the the mic 2 this is the dji mic kit that I had, I think I've shown you this before. Let me pop that out right quick. Okay, this is the mic kit that I've had for a while. And this thing's fantastic. It's a wireless mic kit. And you, it comes with two mics. And this is also a charging case. You can charge these things like two times over. You can completely deplete both the receivers and the trans receiver and the transmitters and recharge them from completely dead two different times. What's nice is this case also, when you put it in, if it gets out of sync, it puts them back in sync, you know, as far as, you know, Bluetooth to each other. You can do internal recording with them as well as a backup in case something goes wrong or you lose connection, which is like a crazy amount, like 600 feet away. You never, why would you use them that far away? But And they come with a uh, wind socks. They come in a little bag and stuff there. And um, yeah, really nice, super light. I've been I've gone through the first three generations of uh, of the uh, uh, Rode wireless microphone kits too. I haven't gone to the newest one because I knew something was happening here. The reason I knew, let's just leave you out here for a second, is because when I got this, I bought the I think they call it the combo kit or whatever they call. Well, in that kit was a thing called. The mic 2 and the really nice thing about the mic 2 is one how the wind the uh, windsock goes on it this one you have to 
twist it and cam it in similar to how you have to do with the road mics this one um it's a it's a little sock that covers the whole top of the mic this is the whole mic on this one and this top is is the mic actually it's in this one side but it's a much larger area but um anyway for uh um anyway th they both do the same thing but one trick to this one a really cool trick is this one has what they call 32-bit recording which is unbelievable if you go high or low too high too low it will you can pull it out you can't it's like shooting raw with your camera it's pretty hard to be far enough off that you can't pull it back but um anyway just released today was the dji mic 2 kit and it comes in a luminous as a plastic box which is really nice and there's nothing that only magnets keep it from opening up i haven't had it open but i've heard about it happening and um anyway the new one's a metal case and it has a clip up front that unlocks it you have to unlock it to get it out but it's a little bit longer everything's about the same size a little bit longer and it's aluminum case too but anyway i got them coming so uh great backup it's like all the road thing i got enough wireless microphones to survive the the ending of times there but uh yeah really excited especially with that 32-bit um recording in the background and i can tie the ones the new mic twos can tie in with this so i can run two mics and if you want a third mic just for the heck of it they're 99 bucks for the microphone and the sound is phenomenal and even if you do something wrong with the recorded sound to the camera because all you got to do is turn the camera on and it sees the mic and just automatically connects to it but if you mess something up in your recording you can use the 32-bit backup in here and recover whatever so anyway really excited about all that it's gonna be way cool I don't know what's going to get in here. Oh, instead of the bag, it comes with a case. Literally, I think it's another one of these cases. So in your backpack or whatever, it uses up quite a bit more room. But uh, cool beans, huh? I'm excited. Well, hello there, you two. Morning, Duff. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy noise, my bird. But uh, yeah, the roads aren't bad. Just the you know side roads and stuff like that. A little slush, you just... Make sure you stay in the tire track. So, and I don't think it's going to get below freezing tonight. So this will probably be way less by the time we get up in the morning. It's so good. a ride to work will not be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was fun to get out. Just get the heck out of the house. Yeah, yeah. For a moment or two, you know. So we went and got some groceries that we were running low on. We didn't wasn't expecting, you know, so many days of this, you know. Yeah. And uh, we thought we'd be back on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here it is, the end of Wednesday. But tomorrow will be a for, for sure thing. Mm -hmm. Anything could happen, but yeah. weather-wise, it looks like it should be a for sure we thing. We should be good to go. Yeah. So I think on that, we're going to roll on out on you. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. All right. See you in the morning. Yep. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye-bye. <laughs>